What's up, my Sagittarius? I hope all is well. This is your girl, Sean, again. If you're new to my channel, hello. Welcome to my channel. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start off by saying that not everything I say is going to resonate with everyone. So take what does and what doesn't. Just go ahead and toss it out. Also, I have a little one in the building. I always have him with my readings. <laughs> so all you parents out there, you understand. You might hear his little voice in the background. Right now, he's chilling with his little, um, watching little kid videos. So, all right. And did I already say take what does and what doesn't, meaning um, not everything's going to resonate with everyone? I don't know if I'm repeating myself today. My mind's kind of, been all over the place today. Let me get it together. All right. So... Let's open up your reading, Sagittarius, with Proverbs 16.3. It says, commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. I'm going to say this again. Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. Amen. All right. So let's see what is going on with you, Sagittarius. Let's see. What's going on with the Sagittarius? I'm using my, ooh, I'm using the Fire Witch Tarot deck. I haven't used this on my channel before, so I'm excited. Let's see, tell me what's going on, Spirit, with Sagittarius. What's going on with Sagittarius in the next 72? Mm. Moving in silence. Beautiful. So Spirit is talking about you moving in silence in the next 72. Whatever you do, don't tell nobody. And something's totally played out, Sag. We also have at the bottom of the deck, your light irritates their demons. So there's something about you with people that are around you right now. Some of you have a lot of snakes around you. There's something about you that irritates their internal demons and you don't need to let that get get to you and something is totally played out like there's something in your environment that you're tired of dealing with it's getting old I wonder what this is clarification on what this is what's played out what's played out with Sag what's played out what's played out with Sagittarius Can you tell me what is played out mm. There is issues. This is a this is definitely a collective energy here. It has something to do with child services or a child. Um, some of you are dealing with child support issues where you're not receiving your child support. This keeps coming up. Um, and it's getting old. It's getting old. You're tired of dealing with it, whatever it is. All right, let's see what else is going on with Sagittarius. We have six of coins. This one it to come, so we're going to take his jumps. Ooh, that's totally you, Sag. A lot of fire. Ace of wands. Oops, all these fell. We have the devil. We have the high priestess. I love that picture of the high priestess. Let me get this. All right. And we have the knight of wands here. All right, clarification on the Six of Coins. Clarification, thank you, Spirit. Hmm. That's really interesting. I really feel like this is just like Cancer's reading. Or was it Virgo's? Not sure. But I feel like you are definitely going to be standing up for something that you believe in in the next 72. Some of you may even be uh, like, I say posting a video, a very passionate video, or maybe giving some type of speech or speaking up about something. But I feel like you're, you're rallying in, you're rallying up some type of support I'm getting. Maybe in your work environment, it may seem a little more supportive. We have the Page of Cups in reverse. You know what's interesting? Um, I feel like I feel like for some of you women out there, this is in reverse too. 
some of you are having to find a another way because so, another way oh no I don't want to say that I don't want to say that I feel like your baby's father or your parent the parents your co-parent is sleeping and they're not making a move and you're having to kind of do a lot on your own but you're doing it with ease I feel like I feel like some of you are dealing with a lazy, and if that's not the case, some of you are dealing with a partner that's being a bit lazy. Like you feel like they're a little bit lazy. I see the devil, and this is the two of swords right here. So this is the two of swords. So I also feel like some of you may be caught up in some fear, though. Fear about having to make a decision. Fear about how something's going to play out. You may be feeling a little bit um, scared about how something's going to end up playing out. Like you're really nervous. Pins and needles I'm getting. Some of you, it's, it's definitely an issue with the child. I'm just going to, because we got the child services here. And then we have the baby right here. But I feel like Spirit's telling you to um, tap into your inner knowing because you know what you need to do to move on to the next, st the next stage, the next step in life or how to handle this situation. If it's not child services, it's something else, um, family issues. You know what to do to move on from this issue. Okay, of Wands. Okay, I like this. These are all reversed right here. The You have the Ten of Wands reversed. You have the Eight of Swords reversed. So, Sagittarius, I see that you're about to walk through a door. There's going to be some type of good news that's coming in for you pretty soon. I feel like it's going to be a change. And you're going to be able to walk through a door that probably was closed before. There's going to be an opportunity for you to walk through a door. That's going to help you. And it's going to relieve this feeling of being stuck and in competition um, for some of you. I feel like it's definitely going to relieve this whole thing. I feel like there's going to be a happy home at the end of this, whatever this happens, whatever, whatever happens here. Okay, let me pull some more messages. What you need to release here in the next 72. Um, some of you, I feel like you're like, um, as I'm looking at this devil and the the mission, I feel like for some of you, feel like there's um, maybe a lack of support for some of you as well. In the next 72, you might feel a lack of support from your partner or your family too. But I see that there's definitely an opportunity. It says surrender. Yes, baby. Shh, I'm recording. Sorry, guys. It says surrender to success. It says, you are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new possibility. There's something new coming in for you, which is awesome. Let's see. For relationships. Yeah. Yeah. So we have finances and career here, soulmate, and deception here. So I feel like they're in some of your relationships. Take it as it resonates. There are some issues with finances here. These financial problems are causing a strain on your relationship. And I feel like someone's really not expressing exactly how they truly feel. Someone's wearing a mask here. I feel like someone's just not really saying exactly how they feel in this situation which is causing stress too, but this is definitely a soulmate connection. I'm going to pull another one. I don't know why I want to pull another one. I just, I do how's I, how I feel sad, you know. I just kind of do how I feel sometimes. And I feel like I want to read one of these for you. Yeah. Uh, bam! Bam! We also got patience here. 
we have patience, but I just turned the patience around. There's patience needed in this situation, but Spirit says, trust your intuition. Bam, deception. Trust your intuition. Trust what you're feeling. Listen to what your intuition is telling you about the situation or person. Your feelings are real. Tune into your inner guidance and follow it. You already know the answer. You already know what to do with the situation. You already know. Okay. Let me pull. We'll do that one in a minute. What else is going to happen in the next 72 for the Sages? Intuition. We get intuition again. Sag, you're not listening to your intuition. Make sure you're listening to it. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. Use your intuition. That one wants to come up too. Trouble accusations. Some of you may find yourself in a situation where there's some like troublesome accusations. And it may not even be something around um, that involves you. It could be something that you're hearing about too. So don't panic. I'm going to pull some more before I explain these other cards. This tea leaf oracle, like I say, is very um, hard to shuffle at times. Thank you, and that's it. All right, so some of you have spiritual guidance and protection from harm. So a lot of you are protected from spirit, from harm, from basically negative forces. It's time for you to act on something. There will be some unsuccessful plans and an outcome. I, what am I talking about? There are unsuccess, There's an unsuccessful outcome to a problem right here. And like I said, it could be something like, you know, you wanted to go to lunch at this one place, but you end up having to spend most of your time at work doing something else and your lunch time is cut short and you won't be able to get the food that you wanted to get. It can be something minor like that. For some of you, when I'm looking at this card, it has something to do with weather, extreme weather. Oh my gosh. Some of you Sagittariuses are going to, because um, I've never really noticed this and they're telling me to, to look at this. Something about an actual bridge breaking um, or some type of structure breaking because of a lot of water. Um, you might notice something like this. Um, a lot of rain, a lot of water causing some type of bridge to break or some type something to break. I'm getting it's interesting. Oh Lord, the time we live in. Some of you may actually be experiencing headaches. Uh, make sure you're taking care of yourself. I've been experiencing headaches as well. It says beware, beware of self delusion. Um, these false beliefs about yourself are not true. Some of you are telling yourself some lies about yourself when you, really you're a freaking awesome, amazing, wonderful person. Don't let the negativity get to you because some of you have some big haters. Let's see. Financial message for Sagittarius, for my Sages. Yeah. It says, say yes to the things you think you cannot do. Say yes to the things that you cannot do, Sagittarius, that you think you cannot do. You can do them. All right. I'm going to pull some channeled messages. Sagittarius. And, okay, that's way enough. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. So we have walk away. There's a situation that you need to walk away from. You're meant to do it differently. I'm getting this as a collective for my uh, people who are on my channel. You're meant to do it differently, Spirit says. Some of you have something coming very soon. If it's not in the 72, 72 hours, this is a collective thing. Um... This is going to happen for some of you I'm getting within like the next three months or so because I was meditating and I got like three months for an answer for a lot of you. There's going to be some wealth inherited from an unexpected source. They want you to stop procrastinating about something. Some of you have something happening in two weeks, two weeks from now from this video. 
That's going to be very important. Your prayers are going to be answered this week. Some of you, okay. Some of you have some prayers that are going to be answered um, this week. Something you've been praying about for some. It says they are just they are just not going to change. Someone you're dealing with or really it's someone you're dealing with. It's just they're not going to change, Sag. Like walk away. They're just not going to change. It says let the situation work itself out. And I love this one. It says, this is your testimony. Keep going because it's almost over. Keep going. This is a testimony. This is my testimony to you guys. Things started getting a bit better for me once I stepped up and I decided to do YouTube. I'm being a little more consistent. Things are starting to look better. I feel like I'm finding more of my purpose and not feeling so lost like I was. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. All right, Sag, have a wonderful next 72. Love you all. Oh, and hit that like button. Come on, hit the like button. Hit subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. And if you want to shoot me a tip, buy me coffee. Hey, I appreciate that too. <laughs> but it's not required. Love you all. Bye.